Hello, our tutorial deals with the topic how to get Epson printed nozzles back to work after they have been dried in or blocked for any other reason. Our Epson Workforce 3620 has been sitting on the shelf for quite a while and as a result the inkjet cartridges are still fine but the Scion nozzles are partially dried in. To get rid of this situation we have compiled a really simple setup. We're going to use a big refill syringe with lure lock connector, a silicon tube and our nozzle cleaner made by Octopus Fluids. To get access to the printed compartment we open the upper lid, that is the scanner unit of our Epson and on the right side you can see the printed compartment containing the cartridges. Now the printer shows on the display that the upper lid is open, but actually we would like to work on the printer while that upper lid is open. Therefore we bridge the contact switch and now we have access to the normal functionality in the menu again. In the next step you either start to move the printer towards the exchange position for the cartridges or you start to print a nozzle test pattern and as soon as the printer moves you take out the electrical supply. Now it is easy to move the printed compartment from side to side easily as you can see here. As we need to have access to the ink ports located in the uh, printed compartment, we remove all the inkjet cartridges that are installed. The ink ports are located on the bottom of the printed compartment. Each cartridge slot inside the printed compartment is clearly marked by color. Beside that, the residual ink on the ink port makes it also easy to identify which ink port is for which color. In our case, we would like to clean the cyan nozzles. For that purpose, we use the silicone tube that fits on the ink port and we flush through that ink port through the printer directly. To prevent nozzle cleaner from leaking into the printer, we install a piece of kitchen towel under the printed compartment. By doing a nozzle cleaning this way, you do not waste valuable ink and you do not fill up the waste ink tank. Couple the refill syringe and the silicon tube by using the lure lock connector. When taking nozzle cleaner into the refill syringe, make sure that there's also some air inside the refill syringe. This air makes the buildup of the pressure more soft. Now push the silicon tube on the ink port for the cyan ink nozzles. Push the silicon tube on the ink port as far as you can. The end of the silicon tube should touch the bottom of the printhead compartment. Now you can start to pump the nozzle cleaner into the printhead carefully. Please do not try to push in the cleaner by brute force. The air inside the syringe works as a damper. This makes the buildup of the pressure more softly. By pumping the nozzle cleaner can dissolve clockings and other pollutions. Here the dissolved clocking is first pulled upwards and then flushed out through the printhead. As soon as the nozzles are free again, the cleaner flows out of the printhead through the nozzles at the bottom. The cleaner is absorbed by the pad that we have installed before. Please clean also the bottom inside the printhead compartment and install the previously removed inkjet cartridges again. Then it is necessary to close the lid covering the inkjet cartridges. And at the same time, please do not forget to remove the pad that soaked up the cleaner out of the printer. Now you can check on the actual result of the flushing procedure. Therefore, plug in the electrical cable again and print a nozzle test pattern. In our case, the nozzle test pattern shows that all the cyan lines appear clearly again. That means the result of our cleaning is quite good. In the case that there are still nozzles blocked and there are lines missing in the nozzle test pattern, you can just repeat the cleaning process. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for watching. If you should have remaining questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.